All right, so now it's time to talk about the two options that we have for drawing freehand on our canvas. And if we visit the insert button in the top left corner of the screen on the toolbar, you'll see that our first two options here are vector and pencil. And the way vector works is quite a bit different from pencil. Uh, pencil, I'll tell you real quick, is just to do a freehand drawing. You can click and drag using the pencil tool and you can create whatever shapes you want. And when you let go, uh, it gets simplified into a vector path. So if you've got a steady hand or if you just are used to drawing, you wanna draw freehand, then the pencil tool is for you. But if you wanna draw illustrator style using points and curves, uh, then you'll want to use the vector tool, which is the direct equivalent to the pen tool in Illustrator. And with that, you're able to click and create points. And as you click, as you click and create those points, uh, it shows you a preview of the line that you're creating, which becomes more important when you create curved points. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click and I'm going to drag. I kept the mouse held down and I'm dragging and that allows me to bend the point as I'm creating it. And then as soon as I let go, I'm able to create my next point. And you'll notice that that line curves in the little preview that it's giving me. So it's even easier than Illustrator because I get a little sneak peek of what kind of damage I'm doing here. Uh, and it's not too late for me to affect the bend of this curve if I feel like I'm making a mistake. Uh, and it goes right back to allowing me to create my next point. So it's incredibly forgiving. I can grab these handles. I can create another point. I can grab these handles. I can create another point. So you can really take your time with this tool. I find it a lot easier to work with an Illustrator, especially because I get that preview. And then it creates an open path if I just hit the return key, call it a day. I've essentially created a line, not so much a shape. And with that line, I can mess with my border. I can change all these things on the right-hand side. Uh, and with a line, you'll notice that it ends up with these squared off corners here. And if you don't want those squared off corners, if you want rounded caps, uh, over on the right-hand side where it says borders, there's a little gear. And if you click on that gear, you can change your end caps to a different shape. So I can get rounded end caps there. Uh, but this is not a closed path. I could insert a fill, and if I do a fill, it's going to automatically close off however it can to enable that fill to be possible and not spill over the rest of the canvas. Uh, but if you want to create a closed path, it's not too late if your path is still open. You can hit the return key with the shape selected to go into edit mode, and it just picks up where it left off at the end of your path, and you can click at the starting point to close it. Uh, or if that's not possible, you may have to insert a couple of additional points here. So it looks like it doesn't want to let me close this path. And this will happen to you as well. If it doesn't want to let you close the path, there is a button over here on the inspector that says close path. And when you click on that button, it will automatically figure out how best to end that path. So if you're having trouble, that could be why. And if you have extra points, you can hit the return key to go back into edit mode. And if I don't want this point to be here, I can select it and hit delete. I can select this and hit delete. I can simplify this path however I so choose if I've made a mistake. So it's pretty cool, very forgiving. And again, with a, with a point selected, you can change the type of point that it is. You can make it a straight point, a mirrored point, disconnected or asymmetric. And if you guys didn't catch what all that stuff means, uh, go ahead and watch my previous tutorial where I explain how all those work. And another little shortcut that I didn't mention in the previous tutorial, you can double click on a point to switch back and forth between having a sharp corner or a curved corner. You can see it better if I pull it way out here. So it's easy to make changes like that. So now you guys should have no problem creating your own freehand shapes. And if you like this tutorial, please subscribe. I will have more cool tips and tricks coming soon. And check out LearnSketch.com where you can download some free stuff, a bunch of free stuff to play with in Sketch.